anaphylaxis, life-threatening allergies. That's what we are talking about today. I'm Dr. Satesh Roy, your super specialist in allergy, clinical immunology and asthma coming to you with this special on anaphylaxis or life-threatening allergies. Friends, life-threatening allergies have become more and more common in India in the last five to 10 years. These life-threatening allergies, which we used to hear as, you know, patients losing their lives by eating peanuts on a flight or getting exposed to seafood in the foreign countries, we are now seeing those cases more and more in India. Anaphylaxis occurring due to very common foods that we may consume on a daily basis can sometimes lead to symptoms like swelling and itching all over the body, which can then lead to swelling of the tongue or the throat, choking, and even death due to the airways or the air tubes or our larynx, our voice box, swelling and closing down. Along with these symptoms of a low blood pressure, which can show up as dizziness, fainting, including nausea, vomiting, recurrent vomiting, diarrhea, there are multitude of symptoms that anaphylaxis can present with. Anaphylaxis, if not recognized in a timely manner, can even lead to death and sometimes sudden death of a child or a teenager or even a young adult in the prime of their lives and certainly is something that we all need to know about and look out for in our friends, families and other people. When we talk about anaphylaxis and the causes of anaphylaxis, the list is very long. Drug allergic reactions can lead to anaphylaxis, both taken by mouth as well as injected through an IV or given subcutaneously or intramuscularly. Besides drug allergies, insect stings like stings from honeybees or wasps or yellow jackets can also trigger anaphylaxis in extremely allergic individuals. Anaphylaxis can occur due to foods and the list of foods is very long but right from the common milk, eggs, wheat, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, seafood including shellfish and fish, sesame, the list is very very long of foods that can trigger anaphylaxis. Once anaphylaxis occurs, a person is at risk of having more and more severe reactions with ongoing exposure to that food or insect sting or drug. And hence it becomes very, very important to have the right diagnosis, which can sometimes be done through skin testing if considered safe, but mostly through blood testing that can include something called specific IgE testing or molecular allergy testing. And with this, a very accurate diagnosis of the trigger can be found with a very careful history and investigations of the past medical records which help narrow down which blood tests need to be done. There are a lot of spurious blood tests that are also available and hence the requirement to do an accurate blood test with the guidance of an allergy specialist or someone who truly understands this condition is very very important. Once the right diagnosis or the trigger is found ways to avoid that allergen is described and discussed with the allergy specialist and eventually an anaphylaxis management plan in which the person has to carry certain antihistamines, steroids and other medications with them including adrenaline which can be life-saving in the case of an anaphylactic attack. Remember that anaphylaxis typically used to be thought must include two systems in the body to be called so but nowadays we recognize that some people can present with only one system getting affected in the body but very severely like the cardiovascular system that can lead to sudden collapse of blood pressure and shock and death within minutes of exposure to the offending allergen. So friends, if you know someone who has experienced severe allergic reactions in the past, do encourage them to see an allergy specialist to get the right history, right investigations, right diagnosis done and then get the right treatment that can make all the difference to them being safe because we are seeing more and more children and adolescents and young adults getting these reactions for everything including as I mentioned 
medications, foods, insect stings, latex and there's a long list of other triggers for anaphylaxis. So till the next time, take care, stay safe, be informed and God bless us all.